Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blunga.com and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Soho Survey. This app will help you create surveys and collect feedback so you can make decisions in the future. All right, let's get started. Logging into Zoho Survey brings you to the All Surveys page where you will find all the surveys you have created. I'm currently using Zoho CRM Plus, that's why my menu is on the top, but yours might be on the left. In the center are the surveys, in this case we have two that are currently published and working. Drafts and closed surveys will show up here as well. Like I said before, on the top is the navigation bar and on the right you can find your profile icon as well as the search bar and the settings. To create a new survey, just click on the Create Survey button. I'm going to create a really simple survey and then I'm going to show you a survey that I already have so you can see the settings and how it works. We're going to give it a name and change the category. And now click on Create. Now we're going to add a question from the left. So just drag and drop it and this new menu will show on the right. And we're going to write the question and now we're going to click on Save. You can add as many questions as you want, but this is the only question we're going to add to this survey. So once you have it ready, we're going to click on Lunch. And now we're going to click on Publish. At this point, we can share the survey either via email or we can also do a pop-up survey. And if you want to find the link, just go to Access and click on Online. And here you can find the survey link. So now we can share this link with our employees and start getting responses. So that's how simple it is to create a survey and launch it. But of course, you can add a lot of other questions and customize it a lot. That's why I'm going to show you a different survey that I already have. So it is this one right here, Customer Satisfaction Survey. And to access it, we're just going to click on this Edit button. And here we are in the Builder page where you can edit the survey. If you want to add more questions, the only thing you have to do is drag and drop the questions from the left, like I showed you before. And as you can see, there are a lot of options here. This survey has only three questions, a net promoter score, a matrix of choice, and finally a text field for long answers. So if you want to edit a question, just hover over it and click on it and it will open this window on the right. This question is a rating scale, so we can change the scale right here. All right, I'm gonna close this and show you the next question. And this is a matrix choice. So here are the options. But we also have the advanced options on. In this case, we are randomizing the order of the rows and the columns. This is a good practice because if you use the same order in all your surveys, the data could be skewed. The display logic tab allows you to set up rules so the questions are displayed or not based on previous questions. So here we can choose display this question only if certain condition is met. And then we can do that the question number one is greater than seven. So if someone selects less than seven, then this question is not going to be displayed. In this tab, we can do something similar, but instead of displaying or hiding an entire question, we can display or hide rows and columns. All right, I'm going to cancel this for now. And here we can see that we are in page one and we only have one page, but this button is going to allow you to add a page. And of course you can add logic to pages. So you can display or hide a page based on previous answers. Here on the left, we have the survey menu. And like I said, we are in the builder, but let's move to the summary tab. And this will give you a quick overview about the survey, like total responses, volume, and more. And then in the reports tab, you're going to be able to find reports about this specific survey. So you can see all the questions as well as the feedback that you got from people. And on the left, you can filter them. So I have created a custom filter that is last 90 days. So when we open it, we only see the responses that we got the last 90 days. So here you can customize the reports as well as export them as PDFs or send them via email and so on. If you're enjoying the video so far, please click the like button. It helps the channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. All right, back to the video. All right, I'm going to go back to the builder because I want to show you a few more things. So we just edited this survey with the editor, but up here we have other tabs. So let's open the settings and this will allow you to customize the survey a lot, like adding a header and a footer, changing some preferences, as well as adding a timer, allowing people to save it and continue later, and a lot more. On the themes page, we can customize the survey. So we have a lot of other options available. And then in the Hub tab, we can find integrations, automations, and triggers. So for example, we can track the traffic of our survey using Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager. 
And then here in this tab, we can set up integrations. And remember, we're on the survey, so this integration will only work with this specific survey. If you create another one, then you have to integrate it again. And also we have triggers. We can either do an email, a function, or a webhook. In this case, I already have an email trigger. That is an email notification I get every time someone completes the survey. And finally, we have the lunch tab where you can find a survey link as well as set up online access, create a QR code, buy responses. You can distribute the survey via email, campaigns, or Facebook. And you can also change the visibility, add restrictions, set up a password, and even close the survey right here. Like I said before, all the settings that we just reviewed are for this specific survey. So if you create a new survey, you can customize it however you want. All right, let me go back to the home page so I can show you the survey and we're going to hover over it and click on access. And this is how the survey is going to look like for the person that is answering the survey. I'm going to close this tab. And the last thing I want to show you is the setup. So I'm going to access it right here. And on the left, we can find all our settings. The ones on the top are global settings, meaning they affect all the surveys in Zoho Survey. And then we have the department setup in case you have multiple departments in your company. So here we can add users, set up white label, authenticate your domain, set up global integrations. And as you can see, we already have set up the Soho CRM integration, which allows us to send surveys from the CRM and track responses there as well. Then we have portal information. And finally, we have audit logs. And there are similar settings for each department. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Survey is part of Zoho One, which is a suite of applications to run your business. So if you would like to try it out, please check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.